Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for July 18th through 24th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, a very warm hello to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Just a reminder, this is, thank you, a general reading. Not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You may also want to check out your moon rising and Venus sign readings as well. Ooh, bonus card for some additional information. So let's have a look, get right into it and see what we've got coming in here for you guys this week. Oh dear, okay. Well, we do have a uh, death uh, right in the middle, uh, so an ending, but possibly also a transformation. Okay, we also have a partnership. It could be an end of a partnership, okay, or it could be an end of a current situation leading to a better partnership for you guys, okay? But whatever it is, I think you are uh, really embracing the stag energy that comes in here. So this is bringing in some leadership, a sense of pride, okay? So maybe you're proud of your accomplishments or proud of your work that you've done. You may be in an energy where you're stepping up this week, okay? Maybe you are stepping into a leadership role or you're just taking charge of your life and you're not let any, letting anyone um, hold you back or keep you down in any kind of way. So it's your time time to be proud of all of your accomplishments, proud of overcoming challenges, okay? But I think also that maybe you just may be really taking some pride in your work here as well, okay? But I think you're really stepping up to the plate this week here. Also, okay, maybe you're just taking charge of your life. And we've got a lot of that going around. Uh, I've had the judgment card come out, I think, four times already. So uh, a lot of people are really uh, making some very important decisions right about now, right in the middle of the year. Um, so we do have the death card and we do have partnership coming in here for you. Okay, so yes, we could have an end of a partnership or maybe a partnership is transforming a little bit and the old version of that relationship is no longer because now it's something a little bit better, something a little bit brighter. But the death card certainly can bring about an ending to something here, very similar to the death card in tarot. Okay, so maybe you need to change course, you need to change direction on something, perhaps you um, are seeing something through to completion, okay? And you can celebrate your accomplishments, take pride in what you've gotten done, all right? But I think here there's also uh, some transformations going on. Now, this could be some personal growth and transformation that's within you, but it could also be something in your environment or, of course, something to do with your partnerships in your life. Now, this doesn't have to be romance. It can be business partnerships, friendships, all right? And this is... Um, you know, on your journey through life, okay? We don't always go through things alone. There's quite often people that we can partner up with, um, people that we can learn from, okay, or get guidance from. So this is certainly an invitation here to have a look at those important partnerships in your life. Are you partnered up with the right people? Um, are you still on the same page as like your friendship, your social circle? Um, do you have a relationship that is evolving some way? Or do you have new relationships that are on the horizon for you? All right, but this is also a reminder that you're always in partnership with your higher self and also with the universe to create the wonderful things in your life. All right. So have pay attention and have a look at those partnerships. Okay. Businesses, friends, romances, uh, yourself. All right. So let's see what else we've got coming in here for you. We have the five of pentacles. Ouch. All right, five of pentacles, nine of swords in reverse. Okay, bringing in some relief and the four of swords bringing in some peace. Oof, okay, uh, so we start off this week. Possibly there is a loss or an ending for something there. We do have a knight of swords at the bottom of the deck. The knight of swords is quite often a messenger, okay, bringing delivery, uh, de like a delivery, okay, so delivering some sort of news or information. It is in the upright, so I feel here that there is some positive communication that's headed your way. The knight of swords also does bring in a sense of urgency, okay, a sense of we got to nip this in the bud, we got to do something right now, something that does require some swift action 
or swift decision making as well, okay, but without being reckless, okay, so maybe you just got your wits, wits about you and you are just making some decisions all over the place, you're taking action, you're righting some wrongs, you're getting things back on track, okay, it could be that something also does happen quite quickly, for you in your environment as well. So um, we do have the five of pentacles here. Now the five of pentacles is a lack energy, okay? It does represent a bit of a challenge for you, but it's not one that's not insurmountable, all right? It's something that we can overcome. So right at the beginning of your week, maybe you're just feeling down or there's something that you need that you don't have. It could be information, it could be partnerships. Maybe you're just feeling like you're alone, right? We've got these two people out in the blizzard, right? feeling like they're left out or left out in the cold. So we could have that going on, okay? Perhaps you're not really feeling connected right at the beginning of the week. So just a little bit of a down in the dumps kind of energy. Now, yes, there could be a loss as well, okay? Um, or there's just something that you need to power through, you need to deal with, okay? Because the five of pentacles here, okay, you may have some sort of loss or you may be lacking in some area but there's opportunities here there's help available there's support there's answers available you may just need to shift your perspective change how you're dealing with something okay seek out some answers or ask for help may be available there for you as well but we can quite often in the five of pentacles energy um, shift our perspective a little bit because this can certainly represent that lack mentality I don't have I can't do I'm never going to get there. I ha haven't found, right? It's the no, 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 no kind of mentality. All right. So that may require you to make a very conscious effort to focus on the positives or to change how you're perceiving something or to seek out some answers and to take back a little bit of control. And sometimes that five of pentacles can be a little bit of a woe is me kind of energy. All right. So just something to be very, very aware of. Okay, we don't want to get stuck in this particular energy because we don't want to attract lack. No, 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 no. Okay, we want to attract abundance. So what can you do to focus on the possibilities, to focus on the solutions, to focus on making positive change even as well? Now, it could be that you are just in an environment that you hate that you don't like and fives do represent obstacles and challenges but they also represent the opportunity for change to find something um to find something better or to find uh, uh solutions okay a different way of doing things all right so you may just be going you might just be really needing a break maybe you need really need a rest um especially if you're feeling kind of tired or run down or defeated in some way okay might just be one of those weeks for you where you're just ugh, you're just not uh, not feeling it right uh, right off the bat okay but the five of pentacles can also represent a large expenditure so maybe you just don't have a lot of money at the beginning of the week as well okay this might be something that uh, gives you a little bit of concern a little bit of worry okay but with the nine of swords that's coming there the nine of swords is in reverse okay and we also have the four of swords I think that things are improving for you or you're finding those solutions or things aren't quite as bad as you're perceiving them to be. You may also have some issue that you're dealing with, okay, the five of pentacles, some sort of difficulties, and when we get the nine of swords in the reverse here, maybe you kind of feel as though you've dodged a bullet or you've kind of, whoof, averted some bigger disaster, all right, because the nine of swords is a good night's sleep. It is a peace of mind, is a rest, okay, it is something that, you know, has caused you some anxiety, some stress in your world, something that's gotten, you know, under your skin a little bit but in the reverse things are okay okay this brings you peace of mind all right so perhaps you are you know you may have a little down patch there with that five of pentacles but perhaps you're just like you know what everything's gonna be okay I'm gonna get things back on track and things are gonna be just fine and diddly dandy and you may need to put in a little bit of effort okay to do that all right but we also do have more rest and relaxation here as well okay with the four of swords the four of swords is that reminder to take some time out for yourself 
okay, to um, this does bring about a peaceful resolution to something as well. It's your um, mind is at ease. You've got a sense of inner peace, outer peace, okay. And so I think here that whatever is whatever is derailing you at the beginning of the week, uh, I think you are either resolving your issue, okay, or you are just really maintaining this positive outlook that things are going to be okay and you're not letting anything really affect you too much. Um, you could be really tired as well and here you're getting some time out. All right, perhaps you need, perhaps in order to get the rest that you're looking for or the peace that you're looking for, um, perhaps you do need to spend a little bit of money or maybe even forego a paycheck. Okay, it could be that you're on vacation this week. All right, and it's like, I don't have any more money coming in. Okay, but I really need the time off. All right, sometimes we just have to take that break. We need to have that self-love, self-care. It's also a great week for you, by the way, for some meditation. The Four of Swords is a card of meditation. Okay, um, so uh, it's also it's also one where, um, you know, maybe you get some physical relief there as well. Hey, if you're going to, you know what, if you're going to spend some money to make yourself feel better or something, okay, uh, a nice massage or something like that would really be what the doctor ordered with that Four of Swords. It's okay, someone to take care of you and you're just, oh, you're feeling all good, all loosey-goosey. Your advice from spirit. Oh, we've got another five here for you. Okay, your advice from spirit. The five of wands is an energy of disruption. It can be. It can be one of drama. Okay, so your advice there could be avoidance. Okay, your advice from spirit could be that there may be some challenges going on around you and you may not want to get involved. Okay, perhaps someone tries to drag you into some sort of struggle at the beginning of the week and you're like, huh, peace out. Mm -mm, no way, I'm not getting involved. You might also have an opportunity to bring a peaceful resolution to something, okay, that may be going on around you. But I feel here that spirit is really giving you some advice. To take action. The five of wands is an action oriented energy. Um, it also does represent some teamwork. So your answer, your solution may involve other people. It may involve um, really taking the lead with that stag energy and getting people rounding up the troops, so to speak, and getting everyone back on the same page working together. Okay, maybe you are stepping into the lead to resolve some issues. Okay, but this can also be about it's you need to take action. Okay, we cannot live in that five of pentacles energy. It's not good. It's not healthy. And it's certainly not wonderful. Okay, it's certainly not a happy energy. Okay, so take some action. Ask for help if you need help. There may be resources available for you that you never thought about before. All right, but it's really the power is all within you to change that situation to change your situation. Um, you may be in the energy where you do need to find something new. The five of wands can be some healthy competition. So if you're looking for, you know, say a new job or to improve your circumstances or some way, there may be some competition involved. Okay, there may be other people that you have to go head to head with and compete with. Okay, and but being in the five of pentacles mentality is not going to help you rise above the crowd. Okay, so we want to go in and we want to um, really be able to communicate positively. Okay, that knight of swords. Okay, take action. Yes, and really focus on what it is you want. Don't focus on what you don't want. Okay, and try and maintain a positive, um, a positive, a, a project positive. Activity, okay, rather than negativity, don't downplay your accomplishments either. Okay, um, if you do need to stand up or speak up for yourself, or you know, if you are putting yourself out there a little bit, maybe you're looking for some change. Okay, don't don't discount yourself. Okay, don't uh, don't talk smack about yourself there. Okay. Be proud of your accomplishments and the things that you've done that stag energy. And don't be afraid to, you know, toot your own horn. Okay. Because, you know, if you are like, you know, uh, in an interview or something like that, um, 
don't focus on what you don't know or what you haven't accomplished or what you can't do. Always focus on I can, I can, I've done, I've done, right? Um, because you just project more of that out there. There's always things that we haven't accomplished. There's always things that we don't know, okay? People know that, they expect that, okay? But focus on what you have achieved, okay? And you can certainly overcome some obstacles, but there certainly is here an opportunity for change, but you've got to overcome an obstacle. So when faced with a mountain, what do you do? Okay, if you're walking along a trail, you're faced with this big roadblock, this big mountain, are you just going to stand there and stare at it and go, oh crap, well, I guess I got to turn back. Are you going to find a way around, over it, under it? Or how are you going to move that mountain? You can do it. Your blessings headed your way is partnerships. Look at that, the lover's card coming out there for you. Partnering up with the right people, the right environment, the right situations, okay? There may be something here with the lover's card here where you do have an important choice to make, okay? The lover's card does represent choices, matters of the heart. Listen to your heart, okay? Um, are you in the right environment? Are you in the right kind of relationships? Again, you may have an important decision to make here. Can you improve your situation or do you need to let something go? important decisions there for you. But considering this is a blessing, I think here, whatever choice decision that you make, I think you'll be making the right one for yourself. I think you have the ability here to restore balance and harmony in your world, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. And I also feel here that you may, if you're looking to make a big change of some kind, I think you have the ability to really um, find new partnerships that are a little bit more in alignment with who you are. Okay, and so really focus on those partnerships, whether you can restore them, fix them, heal them, or whether you can, and that's the relationship you have with yourself as well, by the way, the lover's card, we meet our higher selves, okay, we've got some meditation, you might get some answers that way, all right, but whether you've got some new or improved, you can restore some balance and harmony in your world and really be with the people that are on the same page as you in some regard, so um, really focus on that, the lover's card is that Gemini energy, but it's your only major arcana here so far. So choices, matters of the heart, balance, harmony, and the partnerships in our world, very, very important for you to focus on. And when you do that, you get things back on track. Your overall outcome is the 10 of cups. So thank God we've got some happy energy coming in here for you. Okay. The 10 of cups, I think whatever you've got going on, I think you're getting things back on track. Okay. The 10 of cups brings about your happily ever after card. It brings about a peaceful resolution to things, um, a positive outcome. Okay. Um, you know, whatever struggles that you're faced with, I think you get things back on track. This could be you flipping your energy back around instead of being in a lack mentality with the five of pentacles this is abundance coming in feeling good feeling positive okay feeling optimistic about the future it can also be a really wonderful resolution to something okay it certainly brings in a lot of happiness and joy okay it can be a family situation remember we've got some drama okay but um certainly a very positive a very positive end to your week thank goodness okay Getting a little bit worried there, but it's all good. So here's your final messages. There is one of your final cards. A blessing through emotional upheaval. Hmm, there we go. An emotional storm is forming and things may seem chaotic for a while, but as storm as the storms subside, a blessing is revealed. Respect all points of view, for we each view the world a little bit differently. Things are being shaken up for a good reason and all involved will benefit. Well, that kind of sums up your week right about there, okay? So here is your final message there. And we have a sea of blessings. Good. The universe is a projection from within you and you are a projection of the universe. You are a vast space and yet you are spaceless. You are a divine ocean of love, a sea of blessings. You are the wind of change that flows through life. All right, be in that ebb and the flow. I'll leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below as well. Uh, get those YouTube algorithm gods uh, working. Uh, the more activity there is on a channel, the more people that see the reading. All right, but anyways, so I thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week and um, I'll see you guys later.